A very wise priest long ago gave my husband and me some very good information, insights. We were there having marriage difficulties and I remember at one point I gave my perspective, my husband gave his and, and he said, you know, either she wins or I win. You know, if she wins, I lose. If, if I win, she loses. So this is unsolvable. And the priest looked at us and said, no, if she loses, you lose. He said, you are a team. You either win together or you lose together. That was transformational. Thanks, Monsignor Mike. Appreciate it. So many of us are so focused on winning in our marriages that, that we fight. We, we have this competition, this unspoken thing about, yeah, I'm not going to get him his way. She's not going to get her way. I'm going to do X or I'm going to do Y. Or the, the thing turns into these two people who once were so in love and they just wanted to make the other happy, where we start seeing it as a battle or a competition between the two. Well, let me tell you, that's where Satan gets in there. He is trying to make us see things as if it's a win-lose. Guys, I, this video should be super short, though I never know until I'm done. But how do you perceive your marriage? Do you perceive it as a win-lose? Like if I give him his way, if I m make him the meal he wanted, if I go on the vacation where she wanted, if I do X, Y, and Z, then they just get their way. Is there this deep down perspective that you've just lost? Because if so, you're looking at it the absolutely wrong way. Your job is to meet your spouse's needs. Your job is to give up everything in your life to make that person happy in a sense don't don't please all these when i say radical things i don't want you to say oh i'm not going to give up my job am i ever no but what it is is your spouse's needs should be foremost in your mind god is first but to serve god if you're in the vocation of marriage you serve god best by serving your spouse you want to stay up late, he wants to go to bed early. Um, I can't think of some of the other examples I've had with clients at this point. But a lot of times, it's this principle that's coming into play. And I recently did a video about the oxytocin testosterone cycle that talked about if a man pleases his wife, his testosterone goes up that plays into this. His testosterone is a reward, a physiological reward for him. But it plays into what we're talking about. If you seek to please your wife and you get this boost of testosterone as a reward because you made her happy, it's the same thing for both genders. It doesn't matter. We're not trying to compete. We're not trying to be man against woman, husband against wife, winner against loser. Because think about it, if your spouse loses, what kind of a mood will he or she be in? What will he or, th or she think? But if you can talk and communicate in a way that says, look, here's my perspective, here's my perspective. Let's talk about the two perspectives and come together and decide what's going to be best for the two of you, for your family, and ultimately for God. Of course. Sometimes it's going to be something that wasn't exactly what I wanted, nor would it be something exactly the way my spouse wanted it. But if I look at this going, you know what, if I do this thing for Dan, and he feels like he's won, then ultimately I've won as well, because I have a happy husband. And if you husbands do the same with your wives, imagine how marriage can be transformed. Satan is out there trying to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to divide us. Recognize that the next time you guys have a fight or an argument about your way versus their way. And think to yourself, who is my enemy? This is my teammate right here. So remember, it's not a win-lose. It's not an either-or. It's a win-win or a lose-lose. Start reuniting yourself with your spouse, pulling him or her up when they feel like they've just gotten beat up, they're not getting what they want. Really consider 
the desires of the spouse? Is it something you can sacrifice? You want your spouse to be a winner. You want your spouse to be happy. Because if they feel as if they've won, and they bring you along with them, you've both won. I hope that makes sense. I know in theory it makes sense, but it might be difficult to put into action. Post your comments below, give me a situation. And maybe I'll make a video out of it if it's something that I see many couples dealing with. So, I guess it was a shorter video than the usual ones. I hope this helps. I'm Dr. Christine Bacon. You've been watching Breakfast with Bacon. And I would like to remind you always to live your life sunny side up.